Hello friends, this is Rose Henning. Today I'm going to make my all-time favorite banana bread and one of the reasons that it's my all-time favorite is I have a little story. So growing up in magical Kenya, specifically in the western now, specifically in the eastern part of Kenya. My breakfast consisted of really three things. One, porridge, sorghum, plain old sorghum porridge, or tea, and days that we are lucky enough for my grandmother to find money to buy bread, then we would have tea and bread. Or the third option was no breakfast at all. And so growing up, I knew breakfast was either tea and bread or so, uh, porridge, sorghum porridge. So porridge, <laughs> porridge. And so even when I got my kids, I thought that, you know, breakfast, I didn't know there were so many other options for breakfast. And so they, they just didn't like my options, which was mainly bread and tea. And one of them, I'm not naming names, to to date hates, hates bre uh, bread. And so I decided, let me make, you know, a homemade banana bread and see if he's going to like it. Oops, I said he. <laughs> See if he's going to like it. And so I modified, a, a friend of mine gave me a re banana bread recipe. And because I wanted to, to give him, to give them healthy breakfast, I decided to modify the banana bread to include things like chia seed flour, almond flour, coconut flour. And so I started baking the bread. Lo and behold, my child, loves 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 homemade banana bread even though to date he hates any other kind of bread so that is one of the reasons the bread i'm going to make today is my all-time favorite today i am going to make my all-time favorite banana bread and I'm going to use a recipe that a friend of mine, I believe, gave me uh, some times back. But over the years, I have modified it to make it my own. And to modify, uh, I include different ingredients at different times. But this time, I'm going to include a uh, flax seed flour. I'm also going to include uh, almond flour, ground almonds. And I am going to include coconut flour. Please feel free to make my recipe and also feel free to modify the recipe. Make it your own. Include things that you, you like. But I want to point out, this is very important, if you decide to modify and incorporate other ingredients that are, are not in the original recipe, make sure that the, the, the ingredients are in the right proportion. Otherwise, you're going to get the end product that is not what you're looking for. Also, if you choose just to make the bread using my recipe as is, uh, please comment below. Let me know how you like it. And if you decide to modify, please comment below and let me know what you included and let me know how it turned out. And with that being said, let's get to it.
nice and fluffy. So there is our dough. It's ready to go in the baking pan and then into the oven. You spray this so that it does not uh, stick, your bread doesn't stick. Let's pull the bread out. It's already ready. It's ready to go. Can get more? And there you have it. Give this a try. Mmm, mm, 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 good. This is delicious. Mmm. Lele, you want some? Yeah, sure. Barack, you want some?